Jesus Christ. We have to get the morgue. They're gonna freeze to death. He's just gone. Looks fucking gone. We should have gone around. God damn it. We should have just fucking gone around. It's my fault. I, sh I should have stayed with him. I said I started to go there with another any of us could do. You could have. You could have helped him. Don't listen to her, Clem. This ain't on you. You son of a bitch! This is your fucking fault! Kenny! Don't, man! Don't what? It's nobody's damn fault! I'm freezing. Can we just get a fire started? Look at this place. Just a stack of fucking toothpicks. Bet those magical supplies are bullshit too. What? No speaking of English? Fuck you. You fucking commie piece of shit! Yeah, Kenny! Fuck you! You mother! Fuck what the uh, fuck, Kenny? Uh, for this sort of thing. What did you do to him? There's another just like it. He wasn't lying. You want to tell me how a can of fucking chili is gonna help How is beating a kid to death gonna help anyone? This is your fault. And you damn well know it. I'm tying him up. Fine. Mike, help me get a fire started. You okay? He's hurt real bad. Mike! Yeah. Yeah, okay. You got a light? I thought I had matches. Take a look at you, kid. Jesus. He could have killed you. What the fuck is wrong with him? You're up. Kenny's out back, trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, you should eat something. You okay? Thank you. I can't believe he's gone. I've lost people before, but it just hasn't felt this, this shitty in a while. He cared about you too, Jane. I know he did. God damn it. I shouldn't have come back. I knew this would happen. I knew it. Well, I'm glad you did. I'm gonna find something to clean that up. Thank you. Thank you. I can't take this shit anymore. 
Feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth a crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. With a little luck, we can get one fixed up. Be out of here by nightfall. Yeah, sure, Kenny. That's the spirit, darling. I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch him. Clem. Just be careful. What did she have to say? I know she was running her mouth. What did she say? Well, we didn't talk about you. Really? Really, Kenny. <sighs> what happened? It's over. But AJ needs us now. We gotta stick together on this thing, alright? Come on. Let's see if the truck's gonna go. Daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up. He was a mean son of a bitch. But he taught me respect. Girl like Jane could learn a thing or two about that. All right, give it a turn. So close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running. And then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. Wellington's gotta be out there. Now those rumors can't all be bunk. Sounds good to me. We're gonna make it, Clem. I know it. All right, turn it again. Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it! <sighs> Kenny, are you okay? We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving him with that girl. I wish they'd finished this place. I just wanted to see how you were. <sighs> how do you think? It must be nice being a pretty little girl. No one ever expects you to do a damn thing. You and I both know you had a chance to save Luke. You and I both know what happened back there. I got nothing more to say to you.
Mike and Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. God damn it! I've seen that look before. Son of a bitch! He'll be fine. Clem, he beat that boy within an inch of his life. We are way past fine. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy, too. Once. Probably had a nice job and a nice, pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day, he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. We can still make this work. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, we're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something. Seems like you've done that before. You want to try? No way. It's gonna puke. Clem, no. Hold it like this. Hey. Hi. <laughs> it's not gonna puke. <coughs> it puked. It puked. Gross. There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near D.C. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turned and ripped the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky. Like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. He got it working. Works? What I tell you. So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? Not much. Let's just get out of the snow. I'm all for that. I agree. We should head back south. What? We're kind of freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? The fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry. We did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? Kenny, it's freezing up here, man. It's only gonna get worse. I'm with Kenny. We should head north. Goddamn right. Clem. My friend Krista. She told me about Wellington a long time ago, Jane. It's out there. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. What about Arbo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn.